How's it going, everybody? It's Sam. So, New York Comic Con this weekend, and what does that mean? All new reveals for Transformers War for Cybertron Siege. This time it's the Decepticons, so what are we looking at? Let's find out. We'll start things off with what is probably the least interesting to me, and that is, of course, Megatron. He's a tank, he's a robot, he's got a sword, he looks like Megatron, he's cool and all. I have two recent tank Megatrons, so this one seems a little superfluous to me, but it also does kind of look like the one that was in the Machinima Prime Wars trilogy, so I guess that's a pass, and the sword does look kind of cool. Up next, another one that we knew was coming, Starscream. He is a Tetrajet this time, and despite looking a little bit blocky, he's got a very G1 robot mode, so he looks fantastic as well. Moving on then to Soundwave. I am really excited for this one because it looks like he's got both Laser Beak and Ravage. His alternate mode is some kind of weird block with his guns sticking off the top. Hey, look! He can lamppost! He's got a weird sort of cracked glass pattern going on his uh, on his chest window there. So we'll see how in production samples that actually winds up looking. Because if it's printed on, great. But if it's misaligned, not so great. So we'll have to see how that eventually turns out. I'm still wary of this whole battle damage look, but we'll see how it looks. The Airstrike Patrol, we've got some Micromasters on the Decepticon side. Good to see them. As well as a couple of Decepticon Target Masters. That's going to make things interesting for some of my Titans Return guys. Moving on to a couple of things that we didn't see coming. First up, we've got Brunt. That's uh, Trypticon's purple tank buddy there. Now he's got a robot mode, and he's also got weaponizer capabilities, so just like Cog, you can split him apart and attach him to other guys as weaponry. I really like this weaponizer idea. Being able to buy a figure that then becomes weapons and armaments for other figures. I like this plan. I'm excited to be a part of this plan. Now, we had heard when product listings started showing up for retailers that there was a Skytread coming out. And guess what? He is Flywheels. He's just straight up flywheels. He's a jet, he's a tank, he's a robot, he's flywheels. I could not be happier about that. It doesn't look this time like they're doing the two individual robot modes like they did with Battle Trap, but I'm okay with that because it leads to a much more sort of cohesive robot mode, it looks like. So I'm really excited for this guy when he comes out as well. Refractor. I mean, he's Reflector. We know he's Reflector, but Refractor. He came out of nowhere. Looks like he turns into a small ship. He's got a shield and a gun, but if you have three of him, you can combine the three of them together into a camera. Three shields put together becomes a lens. Three guns put together becomes a tripod, and you have proper reflector. Pretty stoked about that, too. I have needed a good official reflector update since, um... Reflector? It's gonna be great. I'll have to buy the figure three times, but, like, whatever. It's worth it. It's reflector. Now, before we move on to what, for me, is the main event, let's talk about Omega Supreme. The only non-Decepticon revealed at the show was a grey prototype of just the tank portion of Titan-class Omega Supreme. Just let that sink in. Titan-class, G1-style, Omega Supreme. Yeah, that's a thing. And now we move on to the best part, the part I've been most looking forward to since those product listings showed up, and since I helped break the news that it was coming, Leader Class Shockwave. Oh my, he looks amazing. So his robot mode is basically just G1 Shockwave. And then he's got a bunch of extra parts that sort of form like a space segue for him to ride on. I don't know if the actual Shockwave robot itself has an alt mode, but... If you combine these pieces of his space segue with him, you get a space battleship. Shockwave as a space battleship. All right. And then, if they attach on to his robot mode, you get a super armored anime super robot looking shockwave with four arms and legs coming off of his shoulders. And honestly, to me, it really looks like he just killed another shockwave and decided to wear him as armor. Which is awesome. I need this. I need all of this. I I don't think there's a single figure in this line so far that has been revealed that I haven't been like, yep, I need that. Well, except maybe Megatron, but he still looks kind of cool. So yeah, despite this being another G1-centric line, after so many waves of G1-centric lines, this is still looking top-notch. Like, I'm excited. I'm legitimately excited about just about every release coming out of this line so far. 
But what do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which of these figures you're looking forward to, which ones just yeah, didn't quite do it for you. I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. You can be alerted anytime I post new stuff because that does happen from time to time. And we'll see everybody in the next video. Goodbye.